we're going to, I'm going to show you a technique that um, I was just remembering about. And what you'll need is a magazine with cute shapes in it. So I'm sure you guys all have those scrapbooking magazines lying around and you have no idea what to do with them. And you promise yourself you're going to look at them for ideas and then you don't. Because that's what I do. <laughs> Maybe you guys are better than I. Um, you'll need a bowl of water, a bone folder, and you'll need packaging tape. And the reason why I decided to do this is I actually got this packaging tape free in the mail. So it made me think of it, and I figured I would share it with you guys. So what we're going to do is find your shape in the magazine that you like, something cute that you might want to use on something. So I'm going to use this little cake right here because I think it would be cute on a card. And cut it out. I can usually actually use all three of these shapes, but I'll just show you this one. And then I'm just going to trim it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Just save some time later, and you'll see why. So I'm just going to trim it up without cutting the shape. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, lay packaging tape over it. So I'm just going to use an embossing folder because I know it, the tape will peel right off of that. And then take a piece of packaging tape. This is duck roll on tape, but any packaging tape should work. Um, like I said, I just use this one because it was free. And then once your image is stuck onto the tape, then you'll just cut that off. Okay and then put it back on something that the tape won't stick hard to. So anything slippery. And then we're just going to rub the bone folder all over it. Nice and good. Okay. And then we'll peel that off. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to let it soak in water. So, if it won't stick to my finger. Okay, and we'll just let that soak for a few minutes. Okay, now we're going to, after it's sat for a couple of minutes, I'm going to take it out of the bowl. And depending on how long you let it sit, it will depend on how much um, rubbing you have to do. And you're just going to take your thumbs and you're just going to rub across the, or across the back where the paper is. And the paper should just peel right off. Um, don't use your nails like I did just a tiny bit on here, because it will take off of the um, actual print on the paper. And then once you've rubbed the paper off, then just dry it off so you can see what you have here. And then it should look like this, something like that, which means that once you put it on paper, it'll show up, and you can see where I rubbed just a little too hard with my fingernail. And then you can use that as a sticker. You can cut it out a little more and use it for an embellishment. And then that one is one that I did earlier. So as you can see, you could, there's a ton of possibilities. And since you're not going to use your magazines for very much, you might as well get a little more use out of them and, and cut out the pretty cute pictures that you can use in your scrapbooking room. So there you go. Thanks for watching.